Title, Method Statement on Installation of UPVC Pipe 4 Electrical System Project Name, The Project Name Contract Reference, Contract Number Document Reference, MST001 Table of Contents Topic Detail 0. Project Title and Details, Document Submittal and Status 00. zero. Table of Contents 1.0 Introduction 2.0 Scope 3.0 Related Documents 4.0 Terminologies and Abbreviations 5.0 Materials 6.0 Delivery Storage and Handling 7.0 Construction sequence and methodology 7.1 planning and preparation 7.2 installation of UPVC duct pipes 8.0 Manpower requirement 9.0 Plant and equipment 10.0 Material requirement 11.0 Housekeeping 12.0 Control of safety and health hazards 13.0 Training 14.0 QA forward slash QC documentation 15.0 Distribution 16.0 Attachments Introduction 1.1 This method statement covers the detailed procedure for installation and inspection of UPVC duct pipes. This procedure defines the method used to ensure that the installation and inspection of underground PVC duct pipes have been carried out as per the contract specification requirements. Scope General Description Low voltage cable containment and ELV system shall be associated with ducts banks for the external areas especially when the services are crossing the roads. On this method statement we will learn the proper installation of the UPVC ducts to ensure that all the services from external to internal building will properly distribute it as indicated on the design drawings and as specified for the following systems and not limited to Electrical power system, for LV cables Electrical lighting system Low current systems Spare ducts at road crossings Earthing and lightning protection Electrical power system, for HV and MV cables Feeder pillar panel and landscape lighting panels Related documents and references Project specification International standards and codes of practice Local regulations Related shop drawings Terminologies and abbreviations UPVC conduits, a part of closed wiring system for cables in electrical installations, allowing them to be drawn in and forward slash or to be replaced but not inserted laterally. Conduits are provided to the external forward slash internal building to serve as a raceway of electrical and ELV circuits. Concrete manholes, serve as a connection point in an underground pipe layout and serves as drawing point to ease or facilitate easy pulling of cable in a long route underground cabling work. MS Method Statement IDP Inspection and Test Plan PPE Personal Protective Equipment QC Quality Control RA Risk Assessment TBT Toolbox Talk Materials UPVC Pipes Pulling Rope Slash Spring G.I Wire and other materials may require as per project requirements. Approved MEP materials. Delivery storage and handling. All delivered materials shall be placed in temporary site storage such as workshop and store. Delivered UPVC conduit shall be bundled and marked on site to avoid mixing with other materials. Storage on site must be clean and properly arranged to avoid any accident may occur. All materials delivered to site shall be inspected by the supervision consultant prior to installation and placement in the work. 
Site storekeeper, foreman or assigned personnel shall check the delivery against diameter, length, and make and finished as per approved material submittal and delivery note. Once accepted, quality team will inspect the materials as per approved mass, design requirements and latest approved drawing in which found approved, material inspection request to site, MIRS, will submit for engineer's approval. Rejected materials were removed from site premises and forward slash or place in designated area and immediately returned and replaced by supplier. Construction sequence and methodology. Planning and preparation. Ensure that all safety requirements are in place in accordance with project safety plan. Ensure that the latest revision of the approved shop drawing stamped with issued for construction is being used. The latest drawing shall be issued to the concerned people and the superseded drawing shall be surrendered to the document controller. Note that any areas on the drawing are subject to revision, work should not proceed in these areas until an updated drawing has been issued. Any deviation shall be intimated to the engineer for approval. Ensure that all materials used have passed receiving inspection in accordance with QA procedures and are not damaged or defective. Any non-conforming materials must be labeled by storekeeper and returned to quarantine area in accordance with procedure. Ensure that all electricians and helpers are aware of the correct materials handling and installation procedure to ensure best quality of workmanship. Training shall be provided by site engineers as and when required. Installation of UPVC duct pipes. All PVC duct pipe materials to be used for the underground duct or raceways shall be as per the approved type and sizes shall be in accordance with pipe schedule as shown in the cable duct route layup. The cable duct manholes shall be either cast in place or precast type to be constructed slash installed by the main contractor. The size, LXW, shall be able to accommodate both incoming and outgoing cable ducts. Dimensions, orientation, and location shall be according to approved site development layout and schedule. Duct bank excavation shall be coordinated with the main contractor. The following manhole accessories shall be provided and installed by main contractor. A cable pulling irons made of galvanized rod and hardware, located opposite each duct entry. B cable rack inserts minimum load rating 365 kilograms or as specified location at specified or indicated distance on center c cable rack mounting channel 38 x 19 millimeters or approved size steel channel 1.2 m or specified length provide cable rack arm mounting slots 38 millimeters or at standard centers d cable racks steel channel 38 x 19 x 350 millimeters or other approved size with fastener to match mounting channel e cable supports porcelain maple or other approved type clamps and saddles f manhole steps polypropylene plastic manhole step with 13 millimeters steel reinforcement cast steps at 300 mm on center vertically or as specified or again indicated or ladder aluminum rung approved length with top hook to engage manhole step in riser casting. Provide one ladder for each manhole. Sump covers, ASTMA 48, Class 30B gray cast iron or other approved standard. H drain pipe connection to drainage line. The depth of top of duct pipes shall be not less than 600 mm below finished grade as per local authority requirement or as per approved shop drawings. Install duct with minimum slope of 0.33% or 100 mm rise per 25.4 mm length or as per site surveyor's recommendations. Slope of duct pipe shall be away from building entrances. Duct pipe shall be cut L square using saw or pipe cutter and ends shall be divert to remove sharp edges. Provide duct pipe end bells to protect cable from sharp edges. Duct pipe shall be inserted properly into the shoulder applied with recommended adhesive from duct pipe manufacturer. The jointing section shall be wiped clean and dry prior to applying full and even coating of adhesive to the entire jointing area. Allow the adhesive to cure for 20 minutes or more. Maximum of 290 deck bend shall be allowed in each duct pipe route between manhole or pull points. Maximum of 290 deck bend shall be allowed in each duct pipe route between manhole or pull points. 
Provide expansion joint fittings to accommodate expansion slash deflection where required according to actual site conditions. Duct pipe joints shall be arranged in staggered order at 150 mm interval in vertical concrete encasement. Provide duct pipe spacers at no more than 1200 mm interval along layout route. Band ducts together before backfilling or placing concrete. Duct pipes shall be securely anchored to prevent movement during concrete topping slash encasement. Minimum concrete encasement of duct pipe band shall be not less than 75 mm. Provide steel reinforcing bars above duct bank if under paved or on road crossing. Provide dowels if connecting to existing concrete encasement, the same shall be provided to connect to wall of manhole. Provide pole string or rope for each completed section of duct pipe layout and provide suitable end caps to prevent entry of dirt and foreign debris. Completed duct layout shall be swab and mandrel tested to ensure smooth cable pulling. Install underground warning tape 150 mm below ground surface level or as per the approved shop drawing. Coordinate with main contractor backfilling of duct bank upon approval of duct pipe installations and after concrete encasement is completed. Provide watertight seal on each duct entry inside the manhole upon completion of cable pulling works. Manpower requirement. Manpower requirement like site engineer, supervisor slash foreman, and electricians depend upon the planning organization chart and site progress of works. Plant and equipment. Electricians hand tools. Toolbox with electrician tools. PPE such as helmets, safety shoes, cover all, masks, hand gloves and goggles. Material requirement. APVC duct pipes and accessories. BPV C glue or solvent. C tie wire. D duct pipe spacers. E pull string forward slash rope. F duct pipe sealant. G underground warning tape. Housekeeping. All workplaces where our personnel are working will be cleaned from the scrap materials derived from their work ensuring clean and healthy work environment as well as to maintain free access and egress in the event of emergency. Washing facilities should also be provided within the vicinity of the sanitary slash lavatory convenience and any changing facilities that are available. Washing facilities should include clean hot or warm and cold running water, soap, and towels, or equivalent. Trained and equipped first aid staff will be on site at all times, the first aid provisions are kept in the first aid station. The house plan outlines provision in place, applicable in the event of an emergency. Control of safety and health hazards. Implementation of health and safety mechanisms and checks shall be done as per contract agreement and the approved safety manual. The safety officer shall carry out the necessary routine inspections. Safety lighting. Safety lights will be used in case of power failure ensuring. Good illumination for the personnel. Task lighting. Adequate lighting will be provided ensuring the good. Illumination of the working area. Task lighting will be connected to the nearest Site distribution board which is RCD protected Emergency arrangements, site general safety procedure will be followed In Case of emergency the safety officer will stop the work He will put into action The emergency arrangements as described in our safety manual Risk controls, risk assessment and their controls are carried out for the following activity forward slash hazards and enclosed with this method statement using hand tools disposal of waste materials training tradesmen performing the described work will be experienced technicians if deemed necessary specific team slash individuals will undergo further training and awareness programs for this activity by the project qaqc departments Toolbox Talks will provide general training and awareness for each activity and in health and safety matters and precautions. QA slash QC documentation. The following form, S, checklist, S, shall be used to verify the above activity to ensure that this activity is carried out as per the contract requirements. QC checklist for installation of PVC duct pipes. 
distribution. The copy of this method statement shall be issued to the following. 1. Main contractor. Project manager forward slash construction manager. Project forward slash site engineer. QA forward slash QC engineer. Safety engineer forward slash officer. Attachments. The following documents are enclosed with this method statement. A. QC checklist for installation of duct pipes. B. General risk assessment for installation of underground PVC duct pipes. C. Inspection and test plan.